Okay, so Colorado Trail, big three. I have a new pack. It is the Hyperlite Windrider 3400. It is a 55 liter pack. Um, it's about the same weight as my Z pack. That was a 65 liter pack, I believe. Um, but it is waterproof. It's it's real similar. Uh, it's got the two hip felt pockets. It's got the mesh on the outside. It's the roll top closure, but it's waterproof. <laughs> so I'm really excited about that. Um, it does not have load lift lifter straps, which initially I thought I would um, not be too excited about. But that hasn't seemed to be a problem on the trips I've taken so far with it. I have my same old duplex tent, which is inside that Hyperlite bag the flex poles and some stakes. I know this is not part of the big three, but it's almost as heavy as all three combined. My Bear Vault 450, that will be going with me. They've had quite a bit of bear activity out there on the Colorado Trail. Um, I think there's more people out on the trail, uh, just maybe people out on the trail that aren't as familiar with food storage and proper storage, but they're um, it's been reported more activity and they've been pulling bags out of trees and it's just easier not to have to worry about it. Plus, when you're up higher and there are no trees, but there's marmots and all those little you know, ground <laughs> ground bears. Well, bears are ground. <laughs> that, would, that would be like a total 2020 thing to have bears flying, right? It's like the flying snakes that Virginia Tech researchers have been studying. <laughs> okay, I digress. Um, anyway, I'm taking my same quilt. It is and lightened equipment quilt. It's a zero degree, it's the convert. So it you know, zips up like a sleeping bag, um, it cinches at the bottom, but it opens up. It opens up um, fully like a blanket, like a quilt. So that's a zero degree. And then I have the same Neo Air, um, Thermos Neo Air sleep pad. So that is my big three. Okay, for clothes, I will have my North Face Puffy. I think it's, I don't know, Thermoball or something. Um, anyway, that's the same Puffy I had <clears throat> with me last year on the AT. I have the same shorts I had on the AT, same dog bra. I have a long sleeve, a cool daily Patagonia. I think it's an SPF 50 that I will wear most of the time while I'm hiking. When it's really cold, I have my long sleeve icebreaker merino wool that I can wear. I've got those hiking pants, although I'm thinking about maybe not taking the hiking pants. We'll see, I'll see how it is. We're gonna be out in Breckenridge for a week, acclimating both to altitude and temperature. So we'll see. A pair of underwear. Um, I have like a sleep tank and shorts for when it's warm. Uh, I've also got base layer leggings and a base layer hooded top that I can wear if it's really cold at night, which I think it will be <laughs> some of the nights up at altitude. Got a pair of thick uh, sleepy socks, darn tough. Um, these are actually this uh, design, this color combo, whatever. They're the uh, Grandma Gatewood, <laughs> darn tough. So I'll have Granny with me on the trail. I have my possum down gloves. I have a fleece buff, hat for sun, hat for cold. <laughs> I have my rain gear, my North Face jacket, and my marmot pants. I have two pair of darn tough hiking socks. Um, I am, I've switched shoes. I'm not hiking in the Solomon. I got a pair of, these are the Hoka Speed Goat 3s that I've been using and they seem to be working really well. I love the Vibram sole. Uh, it's got great traction. <laughs> so after last year, traction. I don't know that I'll need it necessarily on the Colorado Trail, but anyway, I've got the same gaiters and the same Crocs. I have two stuff sacks. These are the Sea to Summit Ultra Sill. They're really lightweight. They are waterproof. They are awesome. I put a quilt and all my sleep stuff, pillow, uh, bag liner, sleep clothes in that one. And then the smaller one, 13 liter, is for my other clothes. Although 
I may end up not needing it or not using it because the hyperlight is waterproof and I really don't have a lot of extra clothes outside of my sleep clothes. So we'll see. I got an umbrella. It's the Six Moon Designs silver something, silver, silver shadow. Um, so I got that for all that above tree line stuff. Um, I always have rope so I can tie up a clothesline or whatever at the end of the day. Um, the, oh, my wallet. <laughs> I haven't put my ID in it yet, but it's got, got my wallet, uh, compass, whistle, um, rubber bands are awesome multi-tools on the trail and then an extra little carabiner. Um, I've got my cool cloth, sunglasses, readers, or as I like to call them, my goggles, the data book, the map for the first half of the trail, and then the map for the second half is in my resupply box. I'll grab it then. I've got a pack towel. This is amazing. I think it's like a 12 by 12 inch pack towel, and it actually worked as a bath towel, shower towel. <laughs> when we um the first time i used it was when we stayed at the noc and there are no towels there when you stay in the cabins and that actually worked really well at toweling off my entire body so anyway that thing is great um as far as my kitchen stuff i have my collapsible bowl my spoon it's a i don't know see to summit but my little uh, soaking bag for when i quote unquote cook dinner inside a Ziploc bag. I have my MSR pocket racket, my small, this is a Tokes, small um, cook pot, something I used last year on the trail. Using my Sawyer, still have the same Cenoc bottle, uh, some soap, oh, my lighter. I'm planning on taking, well, I'm definitely taking two uh, one liter smart water bottles. The Cenoc is a two liter. So that's four, potentially four liters of water I can carry. I've got two more bottles that I'll bring out there with me, but I don't know if I'll actually end up carrying them on the trail. We'll see. I have some extra Ziplocs, cause you know, Ziplocs. I have, I'm taking both of my 10,000 milliamp anchors cause I'm not planning on going into towns all that much. So I'm not gonna have a lot of opportunity for charging things up. So I'm taking those, got the double, charge thingy. I know there's probably a name for it. Um, earbuds, a tool so I can be charging and have my earbuds plugged in at the same time. Headlamp, it's a black diamond headlamp. New is this Garmin InReach Mini that I am taking with. All my electronics go inside this small stuff sack. I've got some wipes, my toiletry stuff, my bug net, which went the entire journey last year and never got used, so maybe it'll get used this time, but I really hope not. <laughs> my first aid kit, I have band-aids, tweezers, um, nail trimmer, my Swiss Army knife is in there, but that'll end up in my food bag. I've got Benadryl, ibuprofen, um, Neosporin, I've got the prescription anti-itch cream that I got last year after I got bit by the spider, so that's coming with. Sunblock, hand sanitizer, some um, toothbrush and toothpaste, Ben's wipes that I really like, and then my ensuite. So I think that's it. I think that's all my gear for the trail. Um, yeah, that's it. And that's what it looks like, all packed up and ready to go. So hopefully this hike actually happens. I'm kind of monitoring the COVID situation. I definitely don't want locals folks out in Colorado to be resentful of my being out there. So we will see what happens, but I'm excited and I really hope this happens. All right, talk to you later. Bye.